Ha in the Université Libre de Bruxelles, Microgravity Research Center, whose objective is to perform research in for uh, space-related application. And we developed in the laboratory many applications uh, in fluid physics and also now for biomedical science and environmental science. Our center deals with the space experiments. We prepare, test and provide sometimes facility or materials for space experiment. All experiments we are preparing here industrially driven. For example, experiment EVDIL, which stands for influence of vibration on diffusion in liquids, should give a value of the diffusion and thermal coefficients which the uh, petroleum industry is waiting for us. If we in space, we will measure eventually on the model liquids the exact value of the coefficients, then these coefficients will use theory for validation and by this way we can make progress uh, for the theory and provide some hint for the petroleum industry what could be the correct values. The next experiment uh, here is a Jeremy. This experiment is going to study the process which happened when we uh, grow up crystal. The best uh, quality crystals are grown by floating zone, zone technique. Exactly our instrument will study what happens in space when we grow a crystal in such a way. We are also developing optical diagnostic activity in order to obtain a performant uh, optical system to measure phenomena. In particular, we are developing three-dimensional imaging systems that are based on digital holographic microscopy. The idea of digital holographic microscopy is that we are able with that type of device to measure in thick samples that open possibilities to measure objects and to measure samples that have important thickness and that allow to measure phenomena that are not uh, strictly in a plane as it is the case for usual microscopy. The microscope that we develop, one is coming from the experiment that we perform in the International Space Station with the first flight of the Belgian astronaut Frank de Wien. In fact, the point was to measure and to analyze the protein crystallization effect. The other microscopes that we are developing are also with uh, Earth application and in particular for biomedical application and environmental applications. Mm -hmm.